Um, to be honest, at the moment, not really. Um, but I think it could be. Um, it's but all about I mean, what, what's done with it, really, isn't it? Anything that's going to attract young people and uh, encourage our younger people to get involved in things from a very early age which will stand them in very good stead for the rest of their lives. As I, I suppose someone like Michael Ball comes to mind, you know, a local personality who's gone on to wonderful things. If they had like more stuff for like, people my age, just, like 17, 18, mm -hmm. to like, go down and if they're bored in the holidays or something like that. Perhaps it makes youngsters aware of the town hall's history and all that kind of thing as well and maybe might give them a bit of pride in their town. Oh, I think it needs some focal point, yes. Like music rooms or something like that would be interesting. Yeah, like dance studios. And if you're taking the music focus, I think the, uh, the studio idea would definitely attract some attention at least. But if there's a funky movie out, you know, I'd definitely go in and check it out. But um, recording studio, I think that, that sounds awesome. <laughs> it's, it's a great, you know, release for, for youngsters, I think, to be able to play an instrument, and especially if they get in with a band or something like that, it gives them confidence. And I think it helps them in other aspects as well of growing up and dealing with maybe education. It could be vitally important with better in-house facilities, better changing rooms, toilet facilities, then the use would increase. Bridgewater could do with anything, anything at all that would involve the public. There are parking facilities nearby on council property, so parking shouldn't be an issue. There's access for disabled people. Setting up more for the community would be good. Um, I'm actually a care worker. I work in the community, and I think it'd be good if they could set up more for, for um, the older generation. I think town is great because they have plenty of concerts and wrestling events up there. More for the children, I think, to you know, encourage parents to go with the children. Know something for them. What makes what makes something like that is the people, not 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 the building. Well, I think as long as it's tackled correctly, and there's there's obviously a potential for reducing antisocial behaviour in Bridgewater. I'd like to see um, some concerts and that. Uh, I'd I'd like to go to some shows there. That uh, some sort of engagement with young people um, is uh, undertaken first to ensure that um, you don't make any assumptions about what they need, what they want, what their aspirations are, and to make sure that um, they have some sort of feeling of ownership of whatever's been done, not necessarily for them, but with them, and certainly not to them. Yeah, especially people that are at home alone, you know, setting up something for them where they could go and meet other people. So it should be within the town and not on the periphery, um, where people just can't get to very easily. I think it's a good idea, because, I mean, it's a, it's a bit dilapidated, so... Yeah, you know, they're going to renovate it and do it up, and it, like I say, it gives places for local people to perform. Uh, a small scale theatre. I think what what the t would be really good for the town is somewhere like a hundred seat theatre, much smaller than what there is, because you can then do more alternative theatre, which there isn't a lot of in Bridgewater. Obviously, a nice bar, an art gallery, maybe a pole dancing club. <laughs> bit bit more art, a bit more culture. Yeah, you go to places like Exeter. And they've got like you've got the Phoenix there, which is dance studios and all that, and art galleries. Yeah, it'll, it'll be some a hub for the artistic Excellent. side of Bridgewater.